What's up YouTube, Eastern PA Fishing here. The date is January 7th. Today, we're gonna to be fishing for some wild brown trout. I'm gonna to go to a creek that I've never been to before, so hopefully we're gonna smoke them, have ourselves a good time fishing. It's only going up to about 42 degrees today, so it's gonna be a cold one. Hopefully we can stick it out and find some fish in this new creek. I hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you do, scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button, helps me out, and the fish like it as well. Easter PA fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. Alrighty, so we made it down to the creek. I actually never fished this creek before drive by it every once in a while in my fishing adventures and I always think to myself there's got to be some wild trout in there somewhere. So today we're going to explore this creek. Hopefully we can find something. Hopefully we're going to catch something. Hit that thumbs up button. So since we're hitting a new creek I'm going to be traveling around a lot. going to be hitting a whole bunch of different holes. We're going to have to find some fish here today. I'm going to make my way downstream. I usually like to fish upstream so I can walk back downstream. It's a little easier on your legs but there's a lot less ground to cover downstream than there is upstream. So we're going to hit downstream first then we're going to head back upstream well nothing at the first hole this is going to be a cast new spot cast new spot type of day should be interesting hopefully we can find some fish Alrighty, we made it to a pretty cool stretch of the creek looks like this might be the spot where we catch the first one of the day man look at this hole that water is almost blue oh there we go First one if we land them. There we go. How awesome is that? Look at this dude. The colors on that. It pops right out. Beautiful little brown. That's why we came here. Here we go, mission success so far. One fish in the bag. A couple more casts in this hole, and then we're gonna keep moving. Nope, only one bite, one fish. It's trout fishing for you. Just keep heading downstream, see if you can find some more. Kind of have to walk around all these spots because I want to fish the lure with the current so it's coming through the water naturally. For example, here's another nice rip. So I'm going to have to walk down there to fish it. Now I know the GoPro with the wide lens doesn't really show the best view of everything around me, but the scenery here is just so beautiful. It's a beautiful winter day, it might be a little chilly, but just to be out here in nature, enjoying all of this is so worth it. I know 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people, but I hope in the new year, everyone has some better luck. You know, things turn around with this crazy virus and all that. Alrighty, let's check out this hole. Bet we're gonna catch one first cast. Maybe not. Surprised, no bites from this hole. Oh, there we go, Never mind. Here we go, second one of the day. This is the smallest trout I've caught in a while. Look at that, dude. That is awesome. What a beautiful little fish. When you're handling wild trout, always make sure your hands are wet. I don't even know if that was on camera when I unhooked that guy, but that hook just slid right out. Want to make sure you're gentle when handling these fish. Let's get him back. See you, dude. What a beautiful little fish. A couple more casts in this hole, and we're gonna hit up the next spot. Nope, nothing more from that hole. Let's keep on moving. It's like we're coming up on some more juicy holes. Man, that didn't sound right. But due to the context of what I was speaking of, it's appropriate. Hop down into the water, trying not to make too much noise. Just sneaking my way through the water, trying to sneak up on some fish. Nope, no takers from that hole. On to the next. So as I said, I'm gonna be traveling around a lot, but that's what you have to do when you're fishing for trout. You literally just can't sit in one spot and cast at the same fish over and over again. Trout are very wary fish. They're not dumb fish. If you get a couple bites on a lure and you don't catch the fish, or if you do catch the fish, either way, after that, you probably won't get bit again unless you change lures or baits. Trout are some of the coolest fish and they're also some of the hardest fish to catch. That's why I get excited even over the tiny ones because catching any wild trout is almost a feat in itself. Stock trout, on the other hand, you can go out there and throw a piece of tin foil and catch them. But wild trout are where it's at, tough to catch. A lot of them really aren't too big, but every once in a while you come across an absolute whopper. 
One thing I always think about when I'm out here walking these creeks is how many fish I'm actually walking by, spooking, just completely missing altogether. People think just because the creek is shallow that there's nothing there, but you'd be surprised. Trout are shallow water fish, so they could be literally anywhere and even inches of water. That's why it's always good to hit as many spots as you can and be as thorough as you possibly can when you're fishing for trout, because you never know where they're gonna be at. Even a little rip like this, it's about a foot and a half deep at the most, there could be a decent little trout hanging out there. You never know. Good tactic when fishing trout is to start at the back end of a pool. That way you can fish the entire thing rather than casting from the front to the back of it and pulling your lure against the current. That's also a lot less of a natural presentation. Well, no follows there. So if I started at the front of this hole, I wouldn't be able to fish any of this. Or if I did, it would just already look completely unnatural from the first however many casts I did. So we're just creeping up on this spot. Unfortunately, the sun is behind me, so I am casting a shadow into the water which does scare quite a bit of trout. No follows from this spot either. Well, as we're going downstream, the bigger holes are becoming farther and fewer in between. Usually that's the opposite. Usually towards the headwaters of a creek is where it starts to shallow out. Little pools here and there. There's probably trout in them, but it's hard to catch them with a spinner. Let's see if we can get one in here without snagging. Oh, a couple follows. Well, I saw a nice little trout come out and try to grab it. He shied off quick though. Maybe more people fish this spot than I thought. I am seeing some footprints, so I'm definitely not the only person that's fishing. Don't understand why anybody else would be down at the creek. Maybe they were hunting. But chances are, other people fish this spot too. Look at this fall. That's pretty sick. I always find myself doing B-roll of waterfalls. I don't know, I just like waterfalls, I guess. Does anybody not like waterfalls? Well, I haven't seen any more fish in quite some time. We have close to about 50% left on our GoPro charge. I'm actually able to go downstream a lot farther than I thought I was gonna be able to, but we might be heading back soon. I haven't caught anything in a while, like I said, so it's time to get on some more fish. We're gonna hit up a few more holes downstream, and then we're probably gonna cut back upstream to where we parked up and start heading upstream from there. I'm gonna fish a few of the more juicy holes on the way back. Hopefully I don't waste the GoPro charge doing so. Well, we are coming up on a pretty odd discovery in the woods, a little blue chair. What's that doing there? Checked out a couple more spots, nothing else is biting. So we're making our way back to the Jeep now. We walked about a mile downstream, so we're gonna trek back now. Hit up a couple spots on the way back that we thought were pretty juicy. But when I get back to where we started this adventure, I'm gonna throw on a little Berkeley power worm, maybe something a little slower. An inline spinner really isn't a natural looking bait. It just moves through the water very quick and the fish can't really get a good look at it. That's why they call it a reaction strike because the fish is biting out of pure instinct. So we did catch a couple on the spinner. It might be beneficial to keep it on, but I'm gonna experiment a little and we are definitely gonna catch ourselves some more wild brown trout. So stay tuned. Whew, after walking a mile and a half a creek, even with the almost freezing temperatures, got a little sweaty. Had to take off my first layer of jackets. And we are back to where we started today's adventure. Do a couple casts here with the spinner, see if we can get anything. It's a nice deep pool. And then we're gonna throw on our little soft plastic trout magnet. Ooh, I can see a couple trout out there. Man, there's some big ones out there. Oh man, are those all trout? Holy smokes. What the heck, guys? Yo, it looks like there's hundreds of trout out there. And this is where I started the adventure. Why didn't I fish here first? What the heck? Let's see if we can get one. Huh, a couple nice follows. I think it might be time to throw on that magnet. Last cast with the spinner. I'm telling you guys, there are hundreds of fish right there. Bust out my size seven Eagle Claw Aberdeen hooks. That's what we're gonna hook our trout magnet up on. A lot of guys will use little trout magnet jig heads that come with the trout magnets but I've actually never caught a trout that way. So this is what we're using. Size seven Aberdeen hook, very tiny little hook. Secure that with a uni knot. Tiny little split shot on there just for castability. And all we need now is our trout magnets. Gonna go with a bright color, gonna go with yellow and orange. All we need to catch another trout. Now, if you're fishing soft plastics in the wintertime, you wanna make sure you're fishing them super slow. Soft plastic is a lure that's gonna be seen by the fish. They're gonna get a very good look at it, so you want it to look as natural as possible. Nothing's gonna be moving through the water really fast this time of year, so you just wanna drag your magnet. Last cast with the magnet. 
So hard to get them to bite this time of year, even on probably one of the most effective lures ever made for trout fishing. Might go back to that spinner. Definitely gonna change spots though. That sucks, because I really just did find the mother load of all trout. There's gotta be hundreds of them right there. I know you guys can't see them, but I definitely can. But that's the way it is when you're trout fishing. Can't just sit there and keep casting at the same fish and catch nothing. Time to move. Here's where the adventure gets fun. Water's a little deep here, so hopefully I'm gonna make it through. I have my chest waders on, so I should be all right. Still a little sketchy though. Some pretty deep water leading up to this bridge. Woo! There we go though. Now I can almost guarantee that's where most people don't go past just because the water's so high. My voice probably sounds so funny under here. I'll tell you one thing, it is cold under this bridge. Be cool to catch a trout here. Oh, there we go. Under the bridge, brown. Oh, it came off. Darn it. Oh, there it goes. That was pretty sweet, even though we didn't land them. I'm certainly glad we saved GoPro charge. We are coming up on some pretty cool spots. Oh, I bet there's some big fish under here. There we go. It's a nice one. Oh man, stay on baby. That is a nice brown. Oh, he came off. What was I doing? Oh boy, that was a nice brown. I tell you guys, I'm such a fishing jamoke today. Losing so many fish. Huh, look at this big thing. I wonder what this is. Some big pipe, obviously. Yeah, look at that thing. Huh, this looks like a good spot. There, oh, we had him. That was a nice one too. What's the deal today? Why can't I catch these fish? It's like a nice deep pool. Wanna approach it the right way. Ah, right into a tree. Well, that was the wrong approach. Nice hole. Wanna approach it the right way. Take two. These fish are frustrating. There's a lot of them out there. They chased it once and then they're just off of it. Oh man, trout are some funny fish. We walked about a mile and a half upstream. The good spots were very far and few in between. We actually did run up on some private property signs. So we're gonna abide the law and we're gonna head back downstream. Ooh, we just had one. Ay, ay, ay. It's been a pretty tough day out here. Not too much luck. That's all right though, when you're exploring a new creek, can't expect to just go out there and smack them. I'm just glad I got to get out here, enjoy this beautiful day, catch a few fish. Nothing like the great outdoors. Well, everybody, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I had a great time fishing this very tiny little creek. I know I didn't catch a whole ton of fish this episode, but that's not what it's always all about. I love being in nature and in the outdoors. I couldn't imagine a better way to spend this cold winter day. Hope you guys all like the content. If at any point you do, scroll down below, hit the thumbs up button. Helps me out and the fish like it as well. Eastern PA fishing here, you know what it is by now. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay tuned, and stay fishy.